Hello students. In this video, we'll discuss about solution of system of equations by Gauss-Seidel method. So here given a system of equations. To apply the Gauss-Seidel method, the coefficient matrix should be diagonally dominant. So what we mean by the diagonally dominant matrix is, suppose that we have a matrix A of the form A1, B1, C1, A2, B2, C2, A3, B3, C2. So if it is a given matrix, then a diagonally dominant means that the modulus of diagonal element in that particular row should be greater than or equal to the sum of the other elements in that particular row. So that means that in the first row, the A1 should be greater than or equal to sum of B1, C1. Similarly, in the second row, the diagonal element is B2. So B2 should be greater than or equal to the sum of modulus of A2 and C2. For the third row, the diagonal element is C3. So C3 should be greater than the sum of modulus of A3, B3. So the diagonally dominant matrix means that the modulus of the diagonal element is greater than or equal to sum of modulus of other two elements in that particular row. If the matrix is diagonally dominant, then we will go for finding the solution by the substitution. And here we will start with 0, 0 as an initial approximation for the rule. So first I will write the system of equations whose coefficient matrix is here it is A2 minus 3, 20. And the second matrix, it is 20, 1, minus 2, and 3, 20, minus 1. Note that this matrix is not a diagonally dominant matrix. So we interchange the second row and the, here we are interchanging the second row to first row and then the first, second row to the third row to the second row and the first row as the third row. So if we interchange like that, we will be having the coefficient matrix as 21 minus 2, 3, 20 minus 1, 2 minus 3, 20. So we have to write the system of equations in this form. So write that 20x plus y minus 2z is equal to 17 and then it is 3x plus 20y minus z is equal to minus 18 and we have 2x minus 3y plus 20z is equal to 25. So here we have rearranged the system of equation. Now, after the rearrangement, write the expression for x from the first equation. So which here it will be 17 minus y plus 2z divided by 20. Similarly, write the expression for y from the second, which is minus 18 minus 3x plus z divided by 20. Write the expression for z from the third equation which is 25 minus 2x plus 3y divided by 20. Now after the writing the expression for x, y, z, we will go for the first iteration. In the first iteration, they have given that Take x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0, and z is equal to 0. So, here we will take the x, y, z are zeros. 
so that x1 will be equal to 17 minus so x is 0 plus 2 into y uh, z is also 0 here it is 20 so we are substituting y equal to 0 z is equal to 0 in the expression for x so that will get it as 17 by 20 which is equal to on the calculation it is 0.85 now for finding the value of y we have to take x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 0.85 and y is z is equal to 0 in the expression for y so it will be minus 18 minus 3 the x value we have to take it as 0 0.85 and then the z value i is taken as a 0 so this is divided by 20 so that with the calculation we will get the answer as minus 1.0275 so here we are doing the approximation up to four decimal places. So the Z1 is calculated by taking X is equal to 0 0.85, Y is equal to minus, uh, minus 1.0275. So it will be 25 minus 2 into the X value plus 3 into the Y value divided by 20. Do the calculation, we will get the answer as 1.0109. So, these values x1 is equal to minus point eight, plus 0 0.85 y1 is equal to minus 1.0275 z1 is equal to 1.0109. These are called as the first approximation values. Now, we will repeat the same iteration by taking x1 is equal to 0.82, y1 is equal to minus 1.0275, z is equal to 1.109 in the second iteration. So, in the second iteration, so take x is 0.85 x1 y1 is equal to minus 1.0275 and z1 is equal to 1.1090 so here it is 0109 on substituting in the expression for x so, x2 is equal to 17, take the value of y as minus of 1.0275 and the z value as 1.0109, just divided by 20. So, on calculation, we will get this answer as 1.0025. Y3, so take here x is equal to x2 and y is equal to y1 that is x equal to 1.0025 and y is equal to minus z is equal to 1.0109 in the expression for y so it's minus 18 minus 3 the x value 1.0025 the z will be taken as 1.0109 this is divided by 20 so this will get it the answer as minus 0 0.3098 now for calculating z3 it is take x is equal to 1.0025 y is equal to minus of 998 and substitute in the expression for z it is 25 2 into 1.0025 plus 3 into minus 0. 9998 divided by 20. So, this is Z3 is 0.398. So, like this, we can repeat the iteration with the third iteration, substituting these as the, taking these as the second approximating values. So, it is X2 is equal to 
टू फाइव वाई टू इज माइनस पॉइंट नाइन 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 एट एंड जेड टू इज इक्वल टू पॉइंट डबल नाइन ट्रिबल नाइन एट सो दीज आर कॉल्ड एज दी सेकेंड लिटरेशन वैल्यूज नाउ इफ वी कंटिन्यू द सेम प्रोसीजर द थर्ड इटरेशन वैल्यूज विल बी we'll get the answer for x3 as 0.9999 and y3 is equal to minus 1.000 and z3 is equal to 1.000 you can see it is approaching to 1 minus 1 and 1 since in the question they have given you to do up to fourth iteration do one more iteration and in that iteration we'll get the x x4 is equal to 1 y4 is equal to minus 1 z4 is equal to plus 1 so therefore the solution of the given system of equation with the poskedal method is x is equal to 1 y is equal to minus 1 and z is equal to plus 1 Thank you for watching.